FIU victorious tonight, 71-53. The final score is head coach Jeremy Ballard joins us. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, a good performance for you guys tonight from the very start in those first few minutes. Took a 19-5 lead, and I know that's how you really like to come out strong. 14 points out of the gates. I know you like the energy from the start tonight. Yeah, well, um, we started the game the way we prepared the last couple of days in practice, and, and you know, we are, we're always trying to teach that lesson of um, – you know, how you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. So the way we did things the last two days prepared us to be able to have some success tonight. I'm, I'm most proud of what we did defensively. Yeah. We were sloppy on offense, but we did have 19 assists. Um, but for some 23 turnovers, you know, 15%, three-point field goal percentage defense. And, um, I, you know, I'm proud of that effort. Uh, we talked with Coach Kaysan heading into the half, and he said, look, we, we got to get Osasu going. You yeah. know, he kind of acquired her first half for a guy that's uh, one of the best shot blockers and best scorers in conference play. In the second half, he picked things up, as we show you here. Uh, Osasu Osaga wound up 14 points, 11 rebounds, great defensive plays. That's for him, and he really got things going throughout the course of this game. Yeah, well, that's why my staff, I feel like, is the best in the country because they point out all the things that I'm missing, which is a lot of things. Um, <laughs> but uh, to get Big O going um, was obviously important. Um, you see him there making the three, but yeah, you know he, he really was a catalyst for both sides of the floor for us, and he was a senior leader tonight. Uh, I'm very proud of him. Hey, when when O lines it up from three, I think that's just the second this year. Now two for two is is that one of those? No, no, no. Yes, good shots. Or <laughs> you, you, you don't mind when he, yeah, when he well, pulls from he, three? He, he leads the entire world in three point field goal percentage. So <laughs> you can't be higher than a thousand percent. You can only tie it. So um, you know, I think I may tell him never shoot again, so he can yeah. hold that Get the record. <laughs> but, no, he, he works very hard on the shot. Um, I want him to shoot when he's open. Yeah. Um, and, and, and he shot that. I, you know, I, I feel comfortable with it. That's bogus that there's a minimum number of attempts there to hold go. that record. Well, he's he's, he's the best in the world. Hey, what, what really stood out to me as the second half wound down is the defensive intensity of your guys did not weigh in. Eric Lockett is diving into passing lanes as you press. About seven minutes left, up 24. And that's the brand of basketball you've wanted to instill here. And I think you saw a lot of positive things from effort, intensity tonight. Guys just getting after it, pressuring it at the timeline even when they get across half court. I mean, that must be exhilarating for you as a coach to watch. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Eric Lovett is a guy that came in with a reputation as a, as a three-point shooter. And, and he yeah. struggled with the shot in his first half. And he got a little frustrated. But he got out of that mini funk by his effort defensively. And that type of effort, that type of intensity, it's really infectious. Yeah. And, and, and it, it infected our team. And, and there was a stretch there where, you know, they really struggled to get the ball past half court and really get in any type of offense. So um, I was proud of that effort. It can be a tough time of year around the Thanksgiving holiday, final exams coming up, and then the, the holiday break as well. But you guys have won your slate of games through that. Now five out of your past six with – very close loss to UNC Wilmington, the only loss in that span. What do you like out of your guys right now? Through a couple of tight games, but tonight really as complete a performance as you could have won wanted. How happy are you with this last five-game stretch? Yeah, I mean, it's all about growing for our team. Yeah. You know, we, we got to get better every day. We, we, we have to attack each day um, and, and really try to chase excellence. Um, you know, it's, hey, we're in this to win, but, but you know, we're, we're trying to chase a, a, a bigger goal of, you know, reaching what, what our potential is and, and what our ceiling is. Yeah. So um, I, I'm proud of fighting through this. You know, we, we've had a um, a, a high concentration of games in a short amount of time. So, you know, we're going on the road this weekend, which, right. you know, uh, going on the road is always tough. But, you know, if we can play well this weekend up there in uh, Kennesaw, um, you know, we'll get a little break where we can really get some rest and, and also get better in practice. Hey, back to your neck of the woods too, right? And yeah, no, yeah doubt, no doubt. No doubt about it. Hey, one last thing here. Any more leftovers from Thanksgiving, or did you finish those all? Oh, man, I, I, I finished that <laughs> off by Friday. So, uh, there you go. The, the, Thanksgiving done the well, leftovers right? Leftovers don't stay around my house too long. <laughs> no doubt about it. Coach, appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Head Coach Jeremy Ballard, happy after his team, victorious 71-53. As the great late Stu Scott would say, you don't have to go home, but you got to get the heck out of here. 71-53, the final score. We'll see you next time.